Hey guys, it's iTech every week, and today I'm going to be giving you a jailbreak tutorial on iOS 5 Beta 7. Alright guys, so what we're going to be using uh, to jailbreak Beta 7, uh, like every other beta of iOS 5, you're going to use Red Snow. Um, and now actually there are different uh, jailbreak programs to jailbreak uh, iOS 5. I'm not exactly sure, I haven't looked into it too much, but I know that Snowbreeze released, uh, I'm not sure if it's for beta 7 or not, but I know for sure uh, Snowbreeze jailbroke uh, a previous beta, uh, and I'm not sure what Pwnish Tool either. Pwnish Tool, I, I, don't, I can't remember if Pwnish Tool was or not, it's possible, but I, I, I just can't remember. But as for that, the only reason you would want to use uh, Pwnish Tool or Snowbreeze would be if you want to preserve your baseband or something like that. Uh, but that's all for that, guys, but we are going to be using Red Snow 0.9.8 beta 7. I uh, to jailbreak beta 7 on iOS 5 today. Uh, so you're going to need two things downloaded. Uh, like I just stated, you're going to need Red Snow right here. And you also need the stock iOS 5 beta 7 IPSW file downloaded on your uh, computer. Uh, let's see, right here, uh, iDevice software. And you can see right here, I got iPod 4th generation 5.0 beta 7. Now, if you download uh, beta 7 off a of website or something, it's not going to have beta 7 right here. It's just going to have uh, these this little uh, code number theme, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so you have to look for that. If it says uh, this right here is 9A all the way to this E right here, if it says that, that is beta 7, you can see right here. And that's how you uh, identify all the other betas right here. You can see this one is 985, uh, and that is beta 5. Uh, so uh, you just want to make sure you have this one right here. And I'll put, uh, put the links in the description for you guys to download these. And I will be giving the link. Uh, it's legit Joe Breaks. Um, some of you guys probably know who he is. He's an other YouTuber. Uh, it's his website, and he uh, has fast speeds uh, for downloading on his website over there. So I'll put that link in the description for you guys, and uh, go over to his site and check it out. He's got a lot of cool stuff. And last thing I want to talk about before we get into this jailbreak, you also need iTunes 10.5 uh, Beta 7 or Beta 8. Beta 8 is currently the newest one, and again, Legit Jailbreaks does have that uploaded to his website. So I'll also put that in the description. And last but not least, this is a Tether Jailbreak. And that means every time you turn off your iDevice and you want to turn it back on, you have to connect it back to your computer and then uh, rerun this jailbreak process in a different mode. Uh, but it's pretty much the same exact thing. You have to go into DFU mode and uh, all that sorts of stuff. So I'll explain everything else once we go along this jailbreak and I'll show you how to do everything else. Uh, so it's not untethered. Uh, you do have to plug it up to your computer every time you want to reboot it. So. Just want to state that before you do this. And the last thing I want to say is if uh, anything happens to your device, I'm not responsible. Uh, however, it's very, very low chance anything will happen to it. I've jailbroken my iPod probably well over 30 times, maybe even more than that. Uh, I've been jailbroken my iPod for the last year at least, uh, and I've never had a problem. So it's, it's definitely been a lot of times. It's possibly even 40 times. I really jailbroke it a lot, and nothing has happened. So you guys don't have to really... So you guys really don't have to worry about that, but just to be safe, go ahead and uh, use iTunes to back up your iDevice, and I'll show you... Uh, right here, my device is plugged into my computer right now. Once it loads up, hold on, it's taking a little bit. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, right here, you just want to go ahead and right click and hit back up. And even if you are on beta seven, I would recommend backing up to iTunes be uh, because if you go in, if you use iCloud to back it up, iCloud is in beta right now, so it's not too reliable. It does seem pretty stable, but just in case, go ahead and back it up in iTunes also. Uh, one thing we will need to do: close out iTunes before you do this jailbreak. Also, just saying. Uh, it helps it run with better, plus iTunes gets in the way when you go into DFU mode and stuff like that. Alright, so let's get into this jailbreak now. You're going to browse for that firmware, uh, Beta 7, which is right here. With that process, okay, you can see it's been identified. You're going to hit Next, let it uh, prepare the jailbreak data, and process the kernel. Now it's patching it. There we go. You're going to hit Install Cydia, hit Next, power off your device. Now this next part is called DFU mode. Uh, so I'm about to switch over to my camera. Let's do that right now. All right, so we got the camera, and uh, you want to have your device plugged in right now. So there you can see it's plugged in right into my computer. Uh, and what you're going to do at this point is DFU mode, like I just said. Uh, so you want to make sure it is fully powered off, as it says on the computer. Uh, and right now it is fully powered off. And now this next part is called DFU mode. What DFU mode is, um, it just put, it just puts uh, the device in a blank state. Uh, so it can install the jailbreak on uh, your device. So what you're going to be doing is holding the power button for three seconds first. Then you're going to start pressing the home button with the power button. And uh, you don't release the power button at this point. You, so you press it for three seconds and keep holding it. And at that, after three seconds, you start pressing the home button with the power button yet. Um, and then you release the power button after 10 seconds of holding them both together. And then uh, you just hold the home button for another uh, 10 seconds by itself. Or actually, I think I think the, it says 15 actually in Red Snow, uh, but it doesn't take that long. It takes about eight sec. It takes about like eight seconds or something like that. Uh, so over on the computer now, 
we are going to hit next and let's get ready to press the power button because right after uh, you press the power button it'll uh, go into the jailbreak on red snow so hit next and press the power button at the same time so here we go one two three okay it's so the power button for three seconds home button with the power button for 10 seconds so let that go all the way down we're at four three two one release the power continue holding the home button and it says 15 seconds and it should go into the jailbreak around eight seven eight or seven seconds oh okay went at nine and now it's exploiting with line rain you can release the power button you can release the home button excuse me um and now uh i'll actually keep the camera right on my ipod right here so you can see what it's doing uh it's waiting for the reboot so any second now you should see the device uh, boot up there you go it's got the hard drive on there uh, and it says it is downloading jailbreak data and now it is going through the exploit and actually doing the jailbreak. Uh, now I actually got reports from a few people uh, and they haven't been able to jailbreak their device. They said it's been getting stuck at uh, at a certain point. Right now you can see how it's going through all this stuff and I think it says, uh, it just says please wait right now. Um, and he said it did this or something like that. I can't remember if it's this exact part. I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, but he said it, it got something like this. It just kept filling the screen up like this and it just stays like this for a long time. Uh, well, mine it did that also, and it, as you can as you can see it's right now, but now it actually just went through the jailbreak. And I think what's happening to him is it's getting stuck here. So if you guys have a problem with it, go ahead and comment down below. And also, if you run into any other problems, go ahead and comment, and I'll respond to you shortly. Uh, but you can see it's just going through the jailbreak right now, and I may skip a little bit of this pretty soon. Um, now, like I said, my device already had Cydia installed on it, so it's not going to do the full jailbreak because it is already installed. Uh, the only part that I think it skips is. In a little bit, you'll see like a pineapple running on your device. And there's one spot on that point where, okay, so you can see right now it's just installing bundles. Uh, after this, it says moving applications into place. Well, mine's not going to do it because it's already jailbroken. And this part right here will take a long time for you guys. Uh, that moving applications, it takes forever. So mine just rebooted as you can see. Red Snow says it's been finished. Actually, it said it's been finished a long time ago. And now the device is rebooting. So you're going to hit finish in Red Snow. You're going to open Red Snow back up. And now you are going to browse for Beta 7 again. And uh, also, I think uh, if it's the first time right after the jailbreak, uh, your device will actually boot up. Well, if you're if you're already jailbroken, you power it off and then turn it back on. It actually won't even boot up until you run Red Snow again. Yours will probably go all the way up. It'll actually probably boot up, but nothing will work. City will just be a white icon, so it's not going to work for you guys until you uh, run Red Snow again and do the just boot tethered mode. Uh, so we got this uh, IPSW identified now. Hit next. Let it process and patch the kernel. All right, now you're gonna hit just boot tethered right now. Uh, now my device still has the uh, the Apple logo. Yours probably booted up completely, and if it did, just powered off again. Uh, and now because it has the Apple logo, it's not it's not actually going to turn on. It's just gonna keep doing this forever, and it's kind of stuck in a boot loop right now. Well, we are gonna hit next, and right when we hit next, just hold the power button and run the the same DFU mode thing again. So let's do that right now. So next, and power button for three seconds. Home button with that for ten seconds. We go three, two, one. Release the power. Continue holding the home button, and it should go into DFU around nine seconds again. There we are. Now, once it's exploiting with Lime Rain, you can release the home button. And now, if you do this correctly, the device should uh, reboot and have a pineapple logo rather rather than the Apple logo. So it should show up any second now. Rebooting. There's the pineapple logo. Red Snow says finished. Let's wait for this to power on completely. And uh, then uh, I'll show you guys that City has installed correctly. So you can hit finish in that Red Snow right now when we are done with that. Alright, so we see that now it has booted up completely. We're just going to slide to unlock. Put in the passcode. Alright. Um, now there's City right there. Uh, it'll be installed on your last page, actually. Where, wherever your last page is, it'll be installed. But like I said, I was already jailbroken. But let's open up Cydia. And there you go. You can see it's loading up. It'll also have a pop-up menu when you first jailbreak. It'll say, uh, who are you? And then it says, user, developer, or hacker. Uh, you can just go ahead and uh, pick whichever one you want. It doesn't really matter. User is normally what everyone else does. Uh, but there it is. You can see it loaded up completely. Now, if uh, we do slide down, you got that notification center. And in here, uh, if you want to install any extra widgets or anything like you, you got the widgets up here. 
if you want to install anything there, uh, you can go ahead and do that right now. And there are some uh, repos that you can go ahead and install and get that stuff. Now, I'm not exactly sure what they are. I can't remember. Uh, but you can just search for those on Google or YouTube or anything like that. Just search like iOS 5 widgets or something like that. Uh, and you should get a few. Uh, but that's all, guys. I'm going to turn back to the computer now and turn off the camera. So let's do that now. All right, guys. We're back in the computer now. And uh, once again, if you just want to power off your device, you just have to simply run Red Snow and uh, do the same thing I just showed you. And do, do DFU mode again and you're set. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and uh, thumbs it up uh, down below and subscribe up top if you want more videos like this. And uh, so that way you're not you, that way you're notified whenever I release a new video right on our YouTube homepage. You follow me on Twitter to uh, get tech updates and also be notified uh, that way when I release new videos. Uh, but that's all, guys. Uh, if you're having any problems, like I said before, go ahead and just comment. I'll respond to you shortly. Hope you have a great day, guys. And this is iTech every week. Signing out.